Because you're all so special to us, I thought I'd share your story. Uh, some of you have probably already heard it, but I thought I'd tell it again in a little bit more detail. And it's obviously the story of how Brie and I met. So uh, it all started uh, in, in a lecture at Bond University. Uh, I happened just to look up from my books and uh, was, all of a sudden there's this beautiful girl walking towards me and I'm just like, oh, and I'm shocked and I'm stunned and I couldn't take my eyes off her. And I just, I just locked eyes on her, but she wasn't looking at me, she was actually looking at the guy next to me. But... <laughs> Uh, just after she'd finished talking, she, as, just as she turned around to walk back to her seat, she looked me in the eyes and it was perfect. And from, 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 from that moment I knew that, that that was the girl for me, that was the girl that I wanted to marry and that was the girl I was going to marry. Yeah, so it'll be like this, straight down, and then out the front it'll be the same. So there's a, there's a twist there, you kind of lower this, push that down, that's right, and then that's pull the balance. Tom and me are, are more than just brothers, we really are best friends, uh, he's my best mate. Um, it makes me so proud to see how happy Tom and Bree make each other. Marriage is not about finding a person you can live with, it's about finding the person you can't live without. And I believe that in each other, Tom and Bree have found that person. Well, writing a wedding speech is hard, and writing a wedding speech for your little sister's big day is even harder. Um, growing up, Bree was always very confident, talkative, and a dramatic one in the family. <laughs> Bree was the one that could tell five stories in a row, and you had no idea where the first ended and the next one began. <laughs> Bree can start an assignment at 10 p.m. and hand it in the next day and still get a better grade than Tom. <laughs> Over the years, our five-year age gap closed up to merely a height difference, and I have to say, I count her no longer as just my little sister who used me for rides and stole my clothes, but one of my best friends. Oh my gosh, Bru, you get married in like 15 minutes. I mean, oh 45. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I wish I had a mirror so I could just see it. It's like a reveal for me as well. <laughs> Can you believe that I know how Tom is in the other room? Does that feel weird for you that he's like just around the corner? Over the years, as you grew Brie, you never ceased to surprise us. Your wit and cuteness and your ability to outmaneuver us in the best thought out argument only confirms that you have chosen the right profession. <laughs> Where's the tissue? Say no, I can't be you right now. Don't stop it. <laughs> And today she marries into a new family, and that's you, Tom. I know I don't need to say to look after my little sister, because I've been witness to how you've adored her over the years. I was actually overseas when I first got wind of this Tom fella. <laughs> Mum told me there was this guy that uh, Brie kept mentioning, but claimed they're just friends. At first, I was really sus on you, Tom. But you stuck in there, and you continued to hang around, and um, you were a good friend to my little sister. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I'm probably nervous about is 
the bales part. Yeah, finished them off last night's slash this morning. <laughs> but you know, like tidying them up. Yeah. Tom, yeah. it is traditional to welcome you to our family and I'd like to say that you have been a part of it for years now. Trying it out, seeing if we fit in with you, and today we got you, now you're not getting away. Yeah. <laughs> do you want any on your face? Or do you get any touched up or anything? I've got some of this. No, 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 I'm fine. It's like a face particular, no, no. it's got like um, stuff in it. No, that's all good. We went for a bit of a bike ride one day, and it was, it was down from here to Byron Bay and uh, it was a bit of a ride and, and I said to him, if you get there before me, you can have Bree. Oh. We, we had an interesting day, but you know what showed me? Like Tom wasn't cycling much, you, you flogged me now, <laughs> but he wasn't, he wasn't cycling much then and he just showed me a determination that I haven't seen in a young man before. And I was just so pleased to be there. And you know what? He got into Byron before me. Well done, Tom. Time, huh? Yeah, that feels good. And then just need to have the problems now. I know there's a few of you here, though, how proud I am of my three sons. And, and today is Tom's Day. I'm particularly proud of doing Tom and um, finding Bree and uh, bringing her to us. And I want to thank um, Brett and Debbie for bringing Tom into your family, too. Um, so they've got family on both sides. and. We're always here to help and guide. Um, we do have some experience. So how was last night, Steve and Yeah, it was like... And uh, after, after this beautiful girl had sort of gone out of ease distance, I casually leaned over to my friend and was like, oh, who, you know, who, who was that? But on the inside I was more like, tell me who that was, you know, like, who was that? What, what are you doing? Eventually, our sort of seats slowly came closer together until we were sitting together. Anyway, and then there was this one lecture where it was just us two in this one lecture, and we were, Brie turned to me and she goes, Oh, you know, what are you doing now? And we were still very, had, hadn't really had any conversation yet. And I, said, and I remember thinking, I was, I was absolutely starving for one thing, and I thought, I'm going to go straight to the Bon Cafe to get some lunch. And I said, and so I just said, oh, I'm, I'm not too sure, what are you thinking of doing? And she goes, I'm going to the Bon Cafe to get lunch. I was like, Perfect. <laughs> Wicked. So I said, OK, I'm going to go to the library and do some study. Why? Why am I doing that? Why did I say that? I was, I was so nervous and I didn't want to intrude or anything because I didn't expect her to say she was going to the Bon Cafe to get lunch. Anyway, I remember I was kicking myself, I was kicking myself. So I did the least creepy thing I could do and I actually followed behind her without her realising. Pretty much all of it's been hand, handmade. So all flowers were done by Bree's mum, a napkin, Bree's mum made. Wedding cakes being made by well, like family. We've got these special for you. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, I know you're going to oh, wear it for me. Oh, you look better on. It's my wife to be today. I can't believe we are here, our wedding day. My nerves are up, but my excitement is much higher. I cannot wait for the moment when you walk. Are... Oh no. <laughs> okay, just give me a second. <laughs> You're the most important person in my life from this day and forever. My love for you is endless and I am constantly falling in love with you every day. You are so special to me and I will do anything for you. I love you for my entire being. Oh my god, yay, scratchies! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so thank you, my love. I pray today is the most special day for you. I can't wait to see you. To us, my love, I love you and I adore you. Tommy. <laughs> so the cards first and then you hand in the song. Okay. Where you touch our hearts with your beautiful penmanship. Your words that you have written into gift cards and notes and letters. And even today in the song you wrote for Thomas and your vows. It is a true gift you have. 
uh, my beautiful happy to be. Here is a little something from my heart to yours. As I walk towards you, this song will be playing. I love you with all my heart, my babe. Cannot wait to see you. Love your bride. And this is a song. How did she write that? That's incredible. Thanks, my babe. I love you. That's really cool. Tell me to hear it. Man. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very cool. I wish I could do something like that. <laughs> I, looked at, I walked into that room today and I didn't know what to expect. I knew you were going to be beautiful. And I just looked at you with your dress and you were standing there. It was unreal. It was just fantastic. You just looked like a princess that you've always dreamed of being. The princess that I've always known you to be. And today you, you have been. You know, it's fantastic. You look beautiful today. Oh my goodness! <laughs> to stand out is a rare attribute. And Brie, you make us all proud as you stand out. And stand out in such a way, not just with inner beauty and beautiful looks, but also with intellect, wisdom and a sense of humour, and a wanting to be more than you are today. And today you both share in something that is truly significant. I love you, Brie. Posse Pie, looking at you today, getting ready for your groom, looking so, so very beautiful, I was left breathless. I looked at Thomas as you walked down towards him and I could see love and joy beaming out of his eyes. His grin said it all. You're absolutely stunning. My Bubby, I love you with my whole heart and soul, as my heart and soul are forever now joined to yours. I can never be without you, and today we become one. So today I vow that from this day forward you will never walk alone, no matter what or where, I will always be by your side. My heart is wholly yours and only yours, my arms are now your new home. I vow to be the husband you deserve and the best friend as I take you to be mine. I vow to tell you I love you every morning and every night accompanied by a kiss. I vow to protect you with my entire being. I vow to always be the one constant certainty in your life. I will lift you up when you fall down. I'll support you when you are unsure and I will always, always make you laugh. I vow that no matter what, to always remember that this is a lifelong commitment and the type of love that only comes once in a lifetime. I vow to never forget how truly amazing and special you really are and to never neglect you or ever take you for granted. I vow that you have always been my princess, but today and from this day you become my queen. I love you and I adore you.
I vow that despite my age, I know the commitment that we are making today is not to be taken half-heartedly, but today I make the biggest pledge anyone can ever make. I pledge my heart, my dreams, my ambitions, and my entire life to you, and in return, I promise to uphold with the greatest respect and support your heart, your dreams, your ambitions, and your entire life, spent side by side, full of love, every second of every day. I vow to be loyal and true to you, to put your heart and feelings first when we disagree, and be willing to apologize first. <laughs> I know that love is a choice and I promise to choose you as the man you were, as the man you are today and as the man you will become. No matter where life takes us, I will choose to love you completely. And I promise to have the same unwavering, ever-growing and all-consuming love that you can be sure will be the unbreakable constant in your life. I promise to be your devoted wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I declare that they are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I'm presenting to you this afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Brianon Robinson. I couldn't think of anything perfect enough to describe just how much Brie means to me. I do truly love you. There are no words big enough to define the kind of friend you are. And I just love that when you two look at each other, you know that like, you can see how much you love each other and that you're really meant to be together. We got to this, we got to this point where we're down beside this library and there's these massive stairs that go down and Brie bumped into a couple of friends on the way to the Bond Cafe. And I've now stopped. I'm like, oh, what do I do? So I hide behind a pillar. <laughs> there I am, personal messaging Brie, as she's about 50 metres away, while I'm hiding behind a pole. And I'm like, hey, you know, I don't really want to do any study. Did you, uh, did you, want, did you want some company? And she eventually replied and said, yes, yeah, she'd love some. So I waited a little while, obviously, and then made my way down there. So she thought I was coming from the outside. <clears throat> anyway, as I, as I got down there, we, uh, we sat down and we had lunch together, and it was the first time we'd really spoken. And I just remember I was falling in love with everything this girl was saying and, and I was so overwhelmed and I really was falling for her already on this one day. I just after talking to her, everything that she said was just what I wanted to hear. Anyway, we eventually went home that, uh, we obviously went home separately that night and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost done that one. <laughs> Bree, Bree went back to hers and then I went back to mine. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we kept messaging that night and, and that's pretty much how it all started. Tom, you're an amazing guy, and I honestly couldn't have chosen a better man to love, protect, and lead my sister. You were strong to lead her. You were loving to encourage her. You were wise to protect her. You were driven to partner with her. You were patient to teach her. You were generous to spoil her. And you were encouraging to inspire her. So thank you for being you, Tom, and thank you for loving my little sister. Um, and I just want to say uh, that, that since I've met you, Bob, you've, you've certainly changed my life and I love you with my whole entire heart 
and every day you do something that makes me fall in love with you again. And you're one constant certainty in my life and, and the only constant certainty that I do need. You make me the happiest person and I couldn't picture my life without you and I'm so happy and proud to be here today celebrating our love with all our closest family and friends. And I can't thank you enough for choosing me to be the one to spend the rest of your life with really is the greatest gift in life to meet that one person that has those same life ambitions and that same journey that you want to, you want to do and, and then be able to share it with that person. You mean the world to me, Bobby, and I absolutely love you. Shun's assistant in their dream. Oh.